Happy Sunday, all you minties. This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and join me today as I give you an advanced look at the Infinity Gauntlet Omnibus reprint from Marvel Comics. I'll also be doing a comparison to the original Omnibus, so please stay tuned. And welcome back, everybody. Now, before I even get started, a huge thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us an advanced copy of this Omnibus. This Omnibus is due out in the direct market on... October 28th. So that's places like CheapGraphicNovels.com, InStockTrades.com, Tales of Wonder, and your local comic book shop. And then a couple of weeks later at places like Amazon and Barnes & Noble. But here it is. The reprint of the Infinity Gauntlet. A lot of y'all have been asking me for years for this reprint, and it is finally here. Now, I'm also going to be comparing it to my original copy here, and yes, I will be giving this one away as part of our 30th subscriber anniversary. Um, so stay tuned on Saturdays for those live videos when we announce when we're going to do it. But here it is compared to the original. So let's look at it carefully because I love doing this just to see if there's any difference. Here are the spines together, again, old and new, and the back. Both of them retail for $125. The ISBN, of course, on the new one is different, but as far as the lettering and all the covers on the back, including, well, this is a little bit different. The lettering is a little bit different on what it collects, the contents. And what is a comparison without looking under the dust jacket? Here we go, moment of truth. The new one, maybe, maybe right now, the only thing I've noticed is the colors are a little bit sharper. That's about it. The spines, actually, no, the colors are definitely sharper on the new one. I've noticed that. And then the back. Identical in what they both have under the dust jacket. So let's take a look inside, and then we'll do a comparison on the inside of the original and the new one. Okay, so we have over 1,250 pages retailing for $125. There's the Infinity Gauntlet, the credits, the table of contents. So far, it's completely identical to the original and kicking it off with Silver Surfer 34. So this does contain Silver Surfer 34 through 38, issue 40, uh, 44 through 60, the Thanos quest 1 through 2, Infinity Gauntlet, the miniseries 1 through 6, Cloak and Dagger 18, Spider-Man 17, Incredible Hulk 383 through 385, Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, this is the 1980s series, 31 through 36, Quasar, 26 and 27, and then Sleepwalker, number 7. So it all starts off with the resurrection of Thanos, and it all happens here in the pages of the Silver Surfer. A lot of this has been collected in the Infinity Gauntlet uh, Epic Collection, the Silver Surfer Infinity Gauntlet Epic Collection, but there was a lot of lead up to this. So it kicks off with a prelude. Does not jump right into the six issue miniseries. So I love that they did that because they could have easily just put it, all the miniseries in the front and then all the tie ins and the lead ups in the back. But instead, they actually mapped it pretty damn well, honestly. So. Yes, here's all the setups, because if you remember Infinity Gauntlet Volume 1, or Issue 1 rather, it all starts off with Silver Surfer coming to Earth in the way that the Incredible Hulk did in the Infinity War movie. He's coming to warn people that Thanos is coming. So it's very similar to that, but it all takes place in about 400 pages of lead up. And if you've not read this run of Silver Surfer, it is freaking top notch, phenomenal. And I'm so glad they're doing it right by collecting them in epic format. You have Jim Starlin, of course, the gentleman that created Thanos and went on to kill just about everybody at DC and at Marvel. And then Ron Lim is the artist. And Ron Lim, to me, has always been this phenomenal artist. I don't know how he did it, but he was able to draw three or four titles a month. Not not a year, a month. That's insane. He was so damn fast that actually when George Perez could not keep up with the schedule of the Infinity Gauntlet miniseries, it was up to Ron Lim to finish it out. So he's the artist on issues four, five, and well, partly four, and then all of five and six. So speaking of Infinity Gauntlet, we are here. 
with Infinity Gauntlet number one, because that's where issue 50 of Silver Surfer ended. It leads directly into this. So if you've never read those, you're in for a treat, because that's how many pages you've got to read before you get to the meat and potatoes of the story. And I think I've told this story several times about me when I was in middle school, as this was coming out, I thought that these characters had died. So pretty much it's the story of Thanos and how he is destroying half of the universe because he's completely crushing on my girl, Death. And he's going to try to impress her by killing half of the universe's population. And of course he uses the Infinity Gauntlet, snaps his fingers, and bam! Half of our heroes are gone from Earth. Not just our heroes, but other characters too. Now, there's returning characters here. You might be a little bit confused, especially if you've not read the Thanos Origins uh, omnibus. I think that really helps set the stage for a lot of these things, especially for a lot of the cosmic returning characters. Because we, I mean, it's Marvel, so we've had a lot over the years, especially since the days of Fantastic Four all the way up until here. But here it is. Here's that moment. And me... Having, you know, read Marvel my entire life, in the 8th grade, I'm like, oh my god, they killed off all these characters. The Fantastic Four lost a couple of the Fantastic Four members. The, the Avengers lost Hawkeye. What, what's going to happen? This is so weird. The X-Men, when are the X-Men going to get involved? Uh, man, I was kind of an idiot. Um, and I really, um, I really thought these characters were going to stay dead. Of course, a lot has changed since then, right? But... Maybe, maybe not much. But here it is. This is the beautiful George Perez oversized artwork on Infinity Gauntlet. So the way that this is mapped, so let me just show you. Once Infinity Gauntlet starts, they put in all six issues there. So then all the things here that are supposed to happen in between the issues don't really affect the story at all, except maybe the Silver Surfer issues um, are kept back here. So it's the lead up, the prelude, pretty much everything Silver Surfer. And, oh yeah, Thanos Quest is in here too. That's right. And then Infinity Gauntlet 1 through 6. Let me just show you my favorite cover. Just look how badass Thanos is. He's just standing there, come and get me. Oh, I've got that t-shirt. I love that cover so much. And then this is when Ron Lim helps out and starts taking over the miniseries. So by the time you get to issues 5 and 6, it's Ron Lim on artwork. So, after the series ends, after Thanos is quote-unquote defeated, we jump right into Spider-Man 17, which was supposed to take place in between, I think, issues 4 and 5, if I'm not mistaken. Then we get the Incredible Hulk issues, Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer. This is issue 51, which really should have taken place right after, I think, issue 2, if I'm not mistaken. But it doesn't take away from the enjoyment of reading all of this together, especially if you've never read it. These are just the icing on the cake. I'll just call it that. So here's all the side adventures that you get to read about, what these characters were doing during specific issues. You get to find out more stuff uh, about Thanos. So don't skip out on these stories. They're not as important as reading the main series, of course, but they do add to the reading enjoyment. I, you know, I'm glad that they included it all because I guess, you know, we could have had an uh, Infinity Gauntlet Deluxe hardcover. And then I would have been upset that they didn't include the Doctor Strange or the Silver Surfer or the Quasar Aftermath stuff. Uh, and speaking of Aftermath, there is a trade paperback called the Infinity Gauntlet Aftermath. A lot of this has been collected in the box set. Um, and as far as the extras, let's look at those. And then we'll look at comparisons. So we have some articles. And then we have some... Trade paperback original covers. Man, I really don't remember that one. I guess they were starting to use CG. Yep, 1993. They were definitely testing the waters with that computer graphics. Some more Infinity Gauntlet trade paperbacks. And I love that cover by Andy Park. That's from Thanos Quest One Shot. The reprint in 2012. Thanos Quest. Fred Hembeck's stuff that they always add to the back of this. Um, these, this is from the Marvel Age, I want to say. Oh, this is really cool. I remember this from the original Omnibus. So this is the early version of the cover art with just temporary colors. And then, of course, the finished version. George Perez loved doing that. The trading cards. Most of those by Ron Lim. Uh, Terry Austin. And then Thanos Quest covers together. The front and back. Original pages. Wish these were full size, but I get it. 
And then that's it. Yeah, like I said, over 1,250 pages. Let's look at the binding of this new printing and then we'll do a comparison. I'm sure as you could tell, it is sewn binding. Now I've opened it up once properly, but here's that eye. So that's a good sign. All right, so at the top we have the original and at the bottom we have the new printing. The exact same page count, as I mentioned earlier, the new printing looks like it has more vibrant colors. I mean, I've had mine for a few years, so that could be the issue with that. We're gonna look at a few more pages and then we'll look at the binding and the differences in the original and the new. Now, my original one, I think I've read about four times already. I love this book, I love this story. I know some people think it's cheesy, but I'm a big fan of Infinity Gauntlet. And to have it all in one book, made me so happy. So that's one thing to keep in mind when we're looking at the binding. This one has had its share of love, which should make it open better than this. And this is the new one. And I want to say the new one opens a lot better than the original. So hey, it's a win-win for you people that never bought the original one. Looking at one of my favorite iconic scenes from the Infinity Gauntlet. I love this scene, especially the next page, but I don't want to reveal what happens. I'll leave that up to you to find out if you've never read it. But see how much better this lays over than the original? We also get some phenomenal oversized artwork from Greg Capullo, making me wish that we had a Quasar omnibus one day. And just showcasing some of the splash pages in here. There's a couple I wanted to show, but those have spoilers. I figured I'd do these and play it safe. As you can tell, they both about look the same when it comes to splash pages. There's really no gutter loss in the pages, so that's good. And again, we're towards the end of the book here, 1123 pages in. And this new version looks like it's laying over nicer. As a matter of fact, now I want to keep the new version instead of giving it away. I may have spoken up too soon. But that, as they say, is that. Now, when this book comes out, you can purchase it from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was it. That was the page count, the build, and the content of this new omnibus. And here is the original again. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any more questions, if you're picking it up, if you're excited about this reprint, if you missed out on it, if you have the box set, if you're upgrading from the trade paperback, if you've never read it. I would love to know all those comments down below. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and on Patreon. Those are amazing ways to support the channel. And more importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.